For this assignment, you may choose to work alone or with a partner in class. You will design a survey on an interesting topic of your choice, but you must design it so you can address one of the following questions. Does providing extra information affect the responses? You should compare at least two different groups. Usually there's a control question that is unbiased and then a second question that is biased in a certain direction. Depending on your idea, you may choose to have two different biases, one that will tilt one direction and one that will tilt another direction. You will not be penalized if your bias does not succeed. Oh well good, cause yeah, this didn't really work. The two questions we asked to random students and band were describe how you feel about our high school overall and and describe how you feel about our high school overall, knowing the various problems that our school faces, such as poor grades, drugs, fights, and stress. Take a gander at which one's the biased one. It wasn't hard to catch on. We wanted to see how adding in a ton of negativity into a question would make people think more about the negatives of high school than the positives. Our school has a ton of both, but negativity is a lot more overpowering than positivity. So adding this to the question was theoretically supposed to make the people answering the survey more negatively biased. And I mean, it kinda worked. Taking a look at the two side by side, the main answer for both, taking over 50% of the votes, was that the students enjoy high school. And while the non-biased question had 4.5% more of the votes, that's not a lot. The real changes were in the amount of people who said they hated high school. Only 4.6% of the students who answered the non-biased question hated our school, but 25% of the students who answered the biased question said they hated it. The rest is pretty simple, as the non-biased question had a lot more positivity than the biased one, but the amount of students who love, enjoy, or are just okay with our school far outweigh the ones who dislike it or hate it in both surveys. So yes, providing extra information and adding in a biased part to a question can change the responses, but from the data we gathered, it won't change the overall feeling towards the subject in the grand scheme of things. More people say they hate our school when you look at all the negatives, but at the same time, an equal amount of people defended our school and talked about all of the positives that come along with it.